Welcome back. Now that you have a good understanding of content creation, it's time to spice things up a bit. In the next three videos, we are going to learn about working with media, specifically images, video in audio, and links. Go to the All Posts sub panel. Hover over the Bora Bora post and click Edit. We'll go ahead and click Preview to have a look at the post. The layout of the post is looking decent, but it could look much better with images. Go back to the editor and place your cursor at the location you'd like the image to appear, in this case, just before the first paragraph. Click Add Media. This is the WordPress media upload interface. If this looks familiar to you, good, because this is the same interface we used to upload featured images for posts and pages. To insert our media, we can upload an image from our computer or choose an image from existing photos in the media library. We also have the option of creating a gallery, which I'll demonstrate later on. We can set a featured image or insert an image by using an external URL. To upload an image, you can click Select Files and navigate to where you have stored the image, or you can drag and drop images into this area. I'm going to navigate to my image and click Open. After the upload is complete, I'll fill in the metadata for this image. If you enter a caption, it'll appear directly under the image. The content in the alt text field will appear instead of the image if a user has disabled images in their browser. Under Attachment Display Settings, the Alignment dropdown allows you to align your image to the left, center, right, or no alignment. Choosing left will float your image to the left, with the body text wrapping around the right side of the image and vice versa. For this image, I'll choose None. The Link to dropdown lets you configure the linking behavior of the image. Choosing Media File will link users to the full-sized image when clicked. Attachment page will open a separate page for the media when clicked. We can configure the image to link to a custom destination by choosing Custom URL. For now, I'll select Media File. The Size dropdown allows you to choose the size of the image being inserted. When you upload an image, WordPress automatically creates different sized versions of that image. We'll leave it on Medium, then click Insert into Post. The image will now be inserted into your content. Notice the caption at the bottom. You're able to edit the caption by simply placing your cursor on the caption line, then start typing. Right now the image is a little too small, so I'll resize the image by dragging the corner handle while holding down Shift. Holding down Shift will ensure the aspect ratio is maintained when resizing an image. When you select the image, a pencil icon will appear. By clicking on the icon, we can edit the image properties. In the top part of this panel, we can edit the caption and alt text. Under Display Settings, we can choose a different alignment, change the image size, as well as link options. We can also edit the original image or replace this image completely. If you choose to replace the image, you can select a new image from the media library or upload another replacement image. When you click Edit Original, you'll be taken to the image editor in WordPress. Right now, the crop tool is selected. You can crop the image by clicking and dragging on the image. If you've made an error during crop selection, click outside of the cropped section to cancel the crop. You can rotate the image, flip the image, as well as undo and redo changes. If you want to resize the image, simply enter a dimension into either one of these boxes and WordPress will automatically adjust the other value for you while maintaining the correct aspect ratio. Click Scale to resize the image. If you're not happy with the scaled image, you're able to restore the image by clicking on the dropdown, then clicking Restore Image. By entering an aspect ratio, you're able to lock the crop selection tool to that aspect ratio while holding down Shift. 
If you've made changes to your image, make sure to click Save. To exit the image editor, click Cancel. When you're happy with all settings, click Update. Your image will now update to reflect any changes you made. Let's go ahead and insert another image next to Lagoon Exploration. Place your cursor just after Lagoon and hit Add Media. This time I'll drag and drop the image from my desktop. Go ahead and fill in the metadata. This time we're going to select Right for Alignment and we'll link the image to Tahiti.com. The image is a tad too big, so adjust the size by dragging the handles. Let's update and view the post. We can now see the images, and clicking on the image will take us to the full-sized version. Let's insert a gallery. Go to the My Equipment page by hovering over Pages, and select All Pages. Hover over My Equipment, then click Edit. We are going to insert the gallery at the end of our content, so hit Enter a few times and place your cursor just after Monocular. Scroll up and click Add Media. On the top left, choose Create Gallery, then switch to the Upload tab. Same as before, either navigate to where you stored the images, or drag and drop images into the upload area. We'll toggle the filter to view only images uploaded to this post. Go ahead and fill in the meta information for these images. It's worth noting any changes you make to the title, caption, alt text or description will be saved automatically in real time, so there is no need to click on any save buttons. When you're finished, click create a new gallery. You can drag and drop these images into the order you prefer, as well as reverse the order. Under Gallery Settings, you can choose the linking behavior of the images, as well as choosing how many columns your gallery will display. You can also choose to randomize the display order of the images. When you're done, click Insert Gallery. We can see the gallery has now been inserted into the bottom of our content. To make changes to the gallery, select it and click on the pencil icon. To delete an image from your gallery, hover over the image you'd like to delete, then click X on the top right. To append additional images to your gallery, click Add to Gallery. You can now select additional images from the media library, or you can upload more images. Select or upload an image, then click Add to Gallery. Your gallery will be updated with additional images you selected. Fill in the metadata for the images, then click Update Gallery. We'll update and view the page. As you can see, we now have a gallery on the bottom of our equipment list. When we hover over the images, the caption will pop up, and clicking on the images will take us to the full-sized version. So far we've learned how to insert images and galleries into posts and pages. Next we'll explore working with videos and audio.